Here it is, the six month letter to my future self. So I wrote this in May, 2023, and I actually opened in October. It's just taken me a while to record this video. And I want to share why I did this and what I have and haven't achieved from it. So I did a video about writing a letter to your future self about a year ago, and I'll put the link below so you can go check it out. But in simple terms, it's basically writing about your future goals so that they are implanted in your subconscious mind and you're more likely to achieve them. I used to only do them on a yearly basis. Usually in the autumn, I would write a letter to myself, write an email actually to myself and I would schedule it in to be sent to me a year from that date. But this year, I thought I would do something different. So I wrote a letter to my future self six months from that time, one year from that time and five years from that time. And what I thought that really helped with was to break down my goals. The reason I did this is because I have a big vision in my mind, big goals of where I would love for my life to go. And a lot of the time what happens is that it gets stuck in my mind, just this vision, but I'm not actually taking any steps to get there. It's so funny because when I had written this letter, I had, it was very much focused towards my career. It's really, really focused towards my career. And I had broken down into categories. So the categories that I had broken it down into were friends and family, house and home, hobbies and leisure, personal development, love and romance, and career. My career list is like half the page. Everything else is like three or four points. And when I look at it now, I'm thinking, Okay, I've achieved like 90% of my personal development, love and romance, uh, house and home, hobbies and leisure. But when it comes to my career, I've achieved maybe 10%. And when it comes to friends and family, I've probably achieved about 50, 60%. I'm still looking for my community, which is very hard to find. I'm still looking for like good friend base. But when I look at career and I look at the goals that I have written down on here, I actually don't think I even want these goals anymore. And it's so interesting to reflect on these and to look at where my mindset was uh, six, I guess it's now eight months ago when I wrote this letter and how I was focused on so much on social media and so much on like workshops and coaching and doing the stuff, which now I'm just like, do I really want this? And of course, if it came to me, like most of us, if someone comes to you and gives you a million dollars, you're not gonna say no, right? But when it comes down to it, do I really want to be coaching clients all the time? Do I really want to be working X number of hours a week? I'm not sure that I do. So it really is more of a reflection when I look at this letter. And so I wanted to come on here and just share with this with you guys because I did this with my cousin and with my cousin, she was so afraid of opening her six month letter. Like she was like, I was supposed to open a month ago. I haven't opened it yet. I just don't wanna look at it and just being really, really hard on herself. And I said to her, just look at it as a reflection. Just look at it as though are looking at this person that you were six months ago. You may not even want the things that you wanted back then because we're all evolving. We're all changing. Look at it from an observational point of view. Okay, I achieved this. Okay, I didn't achieve this. And I'm okay with that. Be okay with it. And just look at whether you actually really want it. A lot of the things we want are so ego driven, right? But they're not actually things that we really need, what your soul really wants, right? What does your soul need? What does your soul want? And that's where you need to really reflect on that. And that can take a long time to see. I mean, I would say only like a couple months ago, a few months ago is when I started to realize like, oh shit, like the stuff that I've written on this letter, I don't know like if I want that. I don't know if all that stuff I wrote on my one-year letter, which I, to be honest, don't remember what I wrote on my one-year future letter or my five-year letter, but I may open that up. I may look at it and think, who is that person that wrote that, right? And look at yourself from a really loving perspective. Look at that past version of you from a loving perspective and see that you changed and how far you've come. So I really urge you, if you are someone who likes doing this sort of stuff and if you're sort of like my cousin and you're you're afraid to open up the letter in the future because you're not sure if you've achieved and you're and you don't want to disappoint yourself go in with love go in with a pair of eyes that you go in with 
for a child or your friend where you look at it and you think, okay, but you're still a great person. And just because you haven't achieved that stuff right now doesn't mean that if you still want it, that you're not going to achieve it in the future, you know? It's all in timing and at the right timing, the right things will come to you. So if this is something that you want to do for yourself, you can check out my video on uh, writing a future letter to yourself. In there, I also give a free template for you in order to download your own uh, template on how to write it for yourself. It's a great way to really look at your future and also when you open it up, look at how far you've come. The biggest change that I would make to this letter for myself is that Next time I write it, I'm gonna script it. So here, how I've written it is that I have just done a point form. Um, I've just written a title like personal development and point form, what I wanted. But how I'm gonna do it next time is script it. I'm going to write it very much like Neha enjoyed a ride in her new car, <laughs> whatever it is that I decide I want. Um, and just write it in like a past tense. I'm gonna see how that makes me feel and if that makes a difference. I would love it if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments if you do end up writing a future letter to yourself. And if you have any sort of recommendations for me on what I should do next.